Hey guys, it's Bethany with ABQ Creations here with another video for you. Today I'm going to show you us digging the trench out to my mom's she shed. She rented the equipment from a local company and they delivered it out to us and she ended up having my brother dig the trench out to the she shed. She rented the two foot trench digger, which was the larger equipment that they offered. At first we run into a little bit of trouble. You can see where my brother hit some snags. Apparently our cabin is built on an old riverbed and so there are lots of river rocks as we first start the dig. And you can see us having to really have to stop and pull them out. At one point the machine starts leaking some liquid. We think it was from the hydraulics line. So we did have to call the company, have the guy come back, and he ended up picking up the equipment, as you'll see in just a bit. Um, and then we had it redelivered a couple weeks later and got the process rolling again. And there's the leak. Here you can see I'm wearing my lucky hat to see if we can get this build going. And we got off to a much better start. We really had a process down this time. I was helping with pulling all of the large rocks out as they were kind of getting caught up. And that seemed to work out much better this time around. Let me know if you guys are here for the She Shed build out and if you're interested in watching the entire process. If you could comment down below and let me know, that would be awesome. I'm just trying to see if you guys are interested in this type of content or not. I do try to speed up the process instead of slowing it down and showing every little detail and then just doing these voiceovers. I feel like that's a little bit helpful instead of just watching everything in real time as some of the projects can be a bit tedious. So, and then I try to walk you through, but if there's anything you need any extra answers on, just let me know and I'd be happy to respond and answer your questions. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And the start of this project really did take the longest just because there were so many rocks and we had to keep stopping the equipment so that we could pull them out. I'm just very thankful we didn't have to dig this trench by hand. Overall, the process took us maybe an hour and a half to make it out to the shed. So not bad. Once we got past this point, it started to get a little bit easier. Uh, we ran into less rocks and it was more sandy and so the trench digger kind of did its thing. We had to refuel a couple of times. And this is where you can see this, the trench digger really starts to do its job and 
this is how it's supposed to look. Overall, I think it was a really neat process to watch, and I think the equipment was definitely worth the rental. I think it cost my mom a few hundred dollars because she did have it delivered so she wouldn't have to pick it up and drop it off. I think she rented it for about four hours. We used it for about an hour and a half, called them, and they came and pick it up, picked it up uh, once the job was completed. Now at this point my brother is telling us that we're ultimately going to need more gas for the other equipment that we have on the grounds. So he wants to use up the last of what's left and he's sending my mom on a gas run. And then we finish up our project. You can see the kids in the background, they love being up at the cabin and spending that time up there. Lots of land for them to run around on along with the dogs. A couple of random big stones here, but nothing compared to what was down by the cabin. As we got closer to the shed, you'll see that he tries to angle it and that does cause some of the sand and dirt to be put back into the trench. So later in the video I do show my kids helping. They even help dig out some of the dirt by hand then that got pushed back in. Obviously a lot easier than just digging the trench on its own. And then he has to work backwards from the shed. So. He's backing up as much as he can, and then once he gets the opportunity, he takes it over to the shed so he can go in reverse from the shed because we need a line going as close to the shed as possible. Obviously he had to be very careful and not hit the structure. He did an excellent job, he got it nice and close.
So here's the finished trench. You can see how many roots it had to go through. The equipment just blasted right through them nicely. Again, saving us a lot of hard work. And you can see where it kind of filled in a little bit. went down about two feet here. And there's my boys helping out with the project. We had them dig out a little bit and they did an awesome job. They were great helpers. This is after the electrical was run out to the she shed. My mom hired a person, an electrician, to come out and install the cable so that, and the boxes. Here's a little video of my mom walking through the, the cabin or the she shed before the outlets were actually put in. This is when he laid all the wiring. And in just a bit, I'll show after everything is hooked up and the electricity is turned on. This part was just worth it for us to hire out. It made so much more sense than us trying to do this work ourselves. We're gonna to try to do as much of the work ourselves as we can, but obviously we wanna have things done up to code and have it done properly. Since this will be used as a crafting space, we will definitely be utilizing a lot of the electricity that is now available in the space. So she had some recessed lighting put in underneath the loft space. And she had two ceiling fans installed so that we can get some circulation going in there. Another recessed light underneath the front loft space. And we're also going to be installing a, an air, all-in-one air conditioner and a heater unit into the space. So she really wanted to make sure that it had its own switch. So um, he, the electrician made sure to set that up so that we don't have to worry about the breaker. And this is after everything had been installed, all of the outlets. So it just kind of runs through it a little bit, a little bit quicker, but you can kind of see how nice and neat it looks and the lights are on so the electricity works. Thank you so much for watching guys. Oh, and there's Rosie making her appearance. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please like and subscribe to this channel so you can stay up to date on our projects, including future crochet patterns, as well as the future work that we do on the She Shed. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them for me down below. And let me know, do you like these videos? Do you like seeing the work that we're doing and the whole process? Please let me know so that I know if we should continue these and show the entire build out and process. Up next, I plan on working on the insulation. I'm going to help install the insulation on the ceiling um, where it's a little bit harder for my mom to reach.
And here's the finished inside with the lights. And there it is at night. She added the porch lights. So it's pretty cool. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a wonderful day.